So you want to come out of the closet and you want to be a videographer. So this video is how to shoot selfie videos for the beginner. Stick around. So this is Mark with Freedom Hunter Pro. I'm going to talk about some of the basics of shooting selfie videos that I have been learning over the last couple of months. A couple of months ago, I hardly ever shot any videos, but now that I'm taking this up a notch, I have a coach and I have a lot of people teaching me what not to do. So I'm going to talk about a few things. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is lighting, indirect lighting and direct lighting. If you look at my face, you can see how one side of my face is dark and the other side is lit up. Not a good thing to do, especially when you got a, well, anyway, I'm not going to say that. I turn towards the window a little bit, now all of a sudden my face is a little bit more lit up. But if you notice where I'm standing, I got a light right above my head. And if I stand right perfectly close, all of a sudden it looks like I got a mud top of my head's glowing. So I'm just gonna encourage you to be a little bit aware of how you look in your camera when you're shooting a video. Here's another big tip that I learned. If I'm getting too close to a window and I'm doing it like this, you notice how I'm backlit? Sometimes backlighting could be terrible because nobody can see your face and there's just this big shadow. Like if I'm standing by a door, that's not too bad, but I'm all of a sudden dark, right? So you don't wanna do that. Another thing, I was shooting a selfie video and I've noticed I made a few mistakes and I'm watching other people doing it too and I just kinda of chuckle because I'm like, yeah, I did that, is when I'm starting to hold my camera down too far like this and I'm shooting a selfie video looking down at it. Well, number one, you're looking at the ceiling, but number two, you're looking at my nostrils, and that's kind of funny. So the goal is to try and have the camera be about nose level, and then it kind of helps to be more realistic. So that's something else that my son was pointing out, Dad. Also, don't point the camera way up too high, because that looks kind of weird as you're walking around like, what's going on, right? So those are just some good tips. Be attentive to the lighting. I'm gonna step into another room here where it's like, oh, that's light from above. So you see how I'm dark here, but I'm really bright, showing my bald spot a little bit. So you wanna be thinking about that when you're shooting a selfie video. Here's another thing to think about. Sometimes when you have some distractions behind you or you have a light, you have this glowing orb on my whiteboard right there. That's for my ceiling light. But right now I just turned on another light that I just got and I'm gonna show you. This is just a, a supplemental light that kind of helps to brighten things up. And as I'm talking, I'm actually gonna turn it off and show you the difference. So this is natural light coming in my window with my overhead light. And then I have this little supplemental light that I think helps to just illuminate the face a little bit. And I'll show you what that product is in a little bit. So those are the main things when shooting a selfie video that I've noticed is that you have to be attentive, attentive to what's behind you, what's overhead. Like if I stand right here, here's another funny show. Okay, well, the, yeah, right there, I got a light bulb above my head. Or if I'm standing and I'm facing a wall, what's behind me? What's distracting people from paying attention to the video? So that kind of helps too. All right, so now I want to show you something else that's pretty cool for a beginning YouTuber like me. And that is something I just bought to help with my quality of my videos. I'm going to show you right here that I purchased something that is a microphone, a little light, and a little stand. It's called the Loom Cube Mobile Creator Combination. So here we have my old iPhone put inside this stand. And I have a Rode microphone that I plug in with this little cable that you have to buy. And then here's my little Loom Cube light. So this little thing has really helped a lot. When I'm in a situation where I'm shooting a video outside and it's really windy out, this little guy takes away the noise and it helps the sound quality to be a lot better. This little guy is something I just showed you in that last video. I turn the button on and it really gives me a bright little light and it helps to illuminate my face so that if I'm in a dark room, it just helps to balance things out. This is called the Loom Creator Stand. They're a great little combination. I would highly recommend you do this. In this video, uh, at the bottom where there's a description, I'm gonna put a link where you can actually buy each of these items individually or you can buy them all three together through Loom Cube and their shipping was super fast and it was awesome. So that's something that I would recommend. Here's another cool thing about this stand. Let's say you're done, fold the legs down, now you got a selfie stick. And it's pretty adjustable, so that's pretty cool. I hope this is volume that comes out okay. 
But so far I've been using that on a couple of videos and I'm really liking it because it helps me to be more versatile and not have to worry about the wind or if it's getting a little dark, I can just turn on the light. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Mark with Freedom Hunter Pro. Uh, be sure and leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, leave and uh, hit the like button.